Have you ever wondered if a Thousand Trails membership is really worth it? Well, that's what I'm fixing to show you. Hey y'all, I'm Dawn and this is Younger Every Day. So basically, we bought a fifth wheel, sold almost everything we had, loaded up the kids and the dog, and headed west. Now Cole's going to school and we are loving this crazy life. On this channel, we take you on amazing adventures, do product reviews, and share tips and tricks for RV living just like this one. So if you're new here, click subscribe to join the Younger Gang, and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Welcome to Tip Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we share new tips and tricks that'll help you on your RV adventure. Right now, we're in the middle of a series about campground memberships. Last week, we talked about Passport America, and you can click right up here to see that video. But today, we're gonna be talking about Thousand Trails. Your first question probably is, is Thousand Trails worth it? And my answer is, well, it depends. It depends on where you're wanting to go, how long you're wanting to stay, and that kind of thing. And so we'll talk about that in just a little bit. We are members with Thousand Trails, and it totally makes sense for us. So let's find out if Thousand Trails makes sense for you. First of all, let's talk about the difference between a Thousand Trails Camping Pass and a Thousand Trails Membership. So a Thousand Trails Camping Pass is something that you purchase for one year. Currently, you can buy a Camping Pass for $585. What that gets you is, if you'll look at this map, you'll see the five different zones that there are of Camping Passes. Each one of these areas, and that's in a different color, is a different zone. So $585 will get you year-round access for 12 months for one of these zones. Once you've purchased a pass for one of these zones, any additional zones that you would like to go to are $54. So that means it's not $585 per zone. If you know someone who has a Thousand Trails membership, like us, for example, <laughs> You can actually help them out and get $100 off of your membership by using their code to sign up for your membership. Now with the camping pass, it's 14 days in, seven days out. What that means is you can stay in a, a Thousand Trails Park, whether the same one or different ones, for 14 days, and then you have to be completely out of their system for a week. Then you can go back to a Thousand Trails Park. We'll talk about how that works with memberships in just a minute. With the camping pass, you also get to make reservations 60 days in advance. So you can plan out your vacation, your trip, with 60 days notice, so that's pretty nice. But it's even nicer with the membership. Now let's talk about the memberships. The memberships, well, it's a little confusing because there are several different kinds. Thousand Trails can't seem to decide on the names of them, so they change pretty often, but the most current information that I have as of April 2019 is this. The Ultimate Odyssey, the Elite Connections, and the Elite Basic. So let's talk about those. Both with a camping pass and with a camping membership, there are unlimited stays. Yes, with the camping pass, you can stay in 14 days and then have to be out for, for seven days, but there's not a limit to the number of nights that you can use. And the same is true with the Thousand Trails membership. There's no limit to the amount of nights that you get to stay with any of the memberships. So that's the same for everything. As the name would imply, the Elite Basic is the most basic of the memberships. With both the Elite Basic and the Elite Connections, you can stay in the park for 21 days. That means three weeks in each park. Now, the beauty of a membership is it's park to park. That means I can stay 21 days here and move immediately to another thousand trails for another 21 days if I want to. It doesn't have to be 21 days, but up to 21 days. That means I don't ever have to pay to stay somewhere as long as there's a thousand trails nearby, which is pretty amazing. Now, I ask people over and over just to clarify, are you sure? Because I didn't believe it was true. It sounded too good to be true. But we've been doing this for quite a while now, and let me tell you, it is actually true. <laughs> we move from park to park, staying three weeks here, two weeks there, three weeks there, and that is actually how it works. You don't have to pay anything. <laughs> there are a couple of exceptions. We have a big rig, and that requires 50 amp connections if we want to run both air conditioners, which when it's hot, you do. And some of the parks have an upcharge for a 50 camp site. It's something like two or three dollars a day, depending on the park. And so we've done that. We've paid that extra fee. But as far as just staying at the park in a 30 amp spot or something like that, it is actually, in fact, for real, free. Well, except for the thousands of dollars that you paid for a membership and the hundreds of dollars that you pay each year. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So what's the difference between these three types of membership? With the Elite Basic, it's 21 days park to park and 120 days advance 
reservations. With the Elite Connections, it's also 21 days in, no days out, but you get to book 180 days out. And finally, the Ultimate Odyssey membership lets you do 28 days in, no days out, with the 180 days reservation. So those are the important differences among those three types of memberships. You can look and talk to them more and they'll give you more information about nitpicky kind of details, in my opinion, but those are the big differences among those. So those are the differences between the camping pass and the membership and the three different kinds of membership. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty. So if you're considering buying a camping pass, here are some things to take into account. One, where are you wanting to go? If you look at the map, there are lots of parks all around kind of the edge out here, some up in here, but there's lots of blank space. So if you're wanting to go to Nebraska, Montana, Oklahoma, it might not make sense for you. So it depends on where you're wanting to go. It also depends on how long you're wanting to stay. If you're planning on going for a couple nights here and there, probably it's not gonna be worth it. If you're planning on going out every weekend and you're gonna stay at places that cost 40 or $50 a night, or half that if you wanna learn about Passport America, check out the video I mentioned below, then it may be worth it. But take a look carefully at the map to make sure that the places you want to go actually have parks and that you're going to be staying long enough to make up that amount of money. Now, if you're thinking about buying the camping membership, that's kind of a whole different thing. One, you do have to make sure, again, that the places you're wanting to go actually have parks. And the other factor, obviously, is cost. Now, let me just be real honest with you. I don't know exactly how much a membership costs. The reason for this is we didn't buy a retail membership and that's going to be next week's video. So be sure to check that out and I'll tell you how to buy one that's not the retail price. So the reason I don't know about pricing is it's not available on their website. As a matter of fact, this information isn't available on their website either. So to find out the actual pricing, you would have to call them or go to one of the Thousand Trails Parks and talk to someone who is in the membership department. So I don't know exactly how much it costs. The number that I've heard thrown around is around $9,000 for a membership. You pay a one-time fee to become a member and then you pay an amount every year to maintain that membership. So you have to pay that membership at least one year and then every other year that you wanna use it, you have to continue to pay. Now that sounds like an exorbitant amount of money and it is. But if you think about the fact that you don't ever have to pay rent again, the electricity's free, the water's free, you can make that up pretty fast. So for those of us who live full time in an RV, it definitely makes sense. Like I say, I don't know specific pricing, don't hold me to that, <laughs> but that's kind of the number I've heard thrown around here and there. Now I know that each of those is a significant amount of difference. I know the Elite Basic versus the Elite Connections versus the Ultimate Odyssey, those are gonna be significantly different in price. And I don't know which one of those was the 9,000. I didn't ask that specifically. Another thing that I have learned is buy the membership that you want. Don't buy one and then hope to upgrade because it's expensive. It actually costs more to buy one and upgrade it than it would be just to buy the one that you wanted to start with. So make sure you buy what you actually want. We talked to someone about upgrading our membership because we would like to be able to stay for 28 days sometimes, um, but it was completely not feasible for us. It was somewhere around $7,000 I wanna say. Again, don't quote me on that, but somewhere just ridiculous. So as we started looking at Thousand Trails, we heard some conflicting information. We heard lots of people saying it was fantastic and lots of people saying the campgrounds were gross and you never get places because they have all these reserved spots and stuff. And so it, I was a little bit scared, I'll, I'll admit it. But since it made so much sense to, for us financially to be able to stay somewhere every night for free and to not have to pay electric and water, it really made sense. So we decided to risk it and try it. And guess what? I'm so glad that we did. The parks aren't super luxurious. If you want fancy schmancy like hotel, high-end hotel accommodations, that's not what you're going to get. But they're nice. We didn't need anything fancy schmancy. We go to the parks, they have places for us to stay, they have nice accommodations, they have good pedestals, good hookups, they have laundry facilities, they have nice bathrooms, they have lodges, 
For those of you who would like to have a little peace and quiet away from our kids, there's also adult lodges, adult pools a lot of the time. For the kids, it's fantastic. They have lots of stuff planned for the kids to do. Our kids went and played candy bar bingo the other day. There are always lots of kids around, but also they have things like they have a pool. They have um, volleyball courts, basketball courts. They have mini golf. That's one of my kids' favorite things. Most of these places have all these amenities and they're really fantastic. Our kids love it. We've stayed in about seven different parks so far and have loved all of them. There's really not one that I wouldn't go back to. Even though they don't have information on their website about their memberships, they do have lots of other things that you can find out on their website. So let's check that out. So let's get on to thousandtrails.com and see what there is. If you click explore campgrounds, you can see all these different things that you can look at. Campground search, map search, camping pass zones. Let's start there with the camping pass zones. So there you see Thousand Trails Camping Pass, 190 plus locations, no nightly fees from 585 a year. If you scroll down here, you can see the five different zones. Each of those colors of green is a different zone. And then if you'll look down here, it'll show you the Thousand Trails Collection. Now the Thousand Trails Collection is something that you can purchase in addition to either your camping pass or your membership. It's $214 for the year. One thing you do need to be aware of is that your year starts the day that you buy it, but ends on the day that your camping membership would be renewed. For example, our renewal would be sometime probably in August. So if I bought it today, I would have from today to August, and then I would have to pay another $214 to get it from that August to the next August. If you look down here, you can click on each of the names of the zones. It'll show you by state what campgrounds are in that zone and you can click through all the different ones. And then here at the end, the trails collection. One thing that's important to note about the trails collection is they have these colored dots beside them. Some of them have symbols in them and it will tell you at the bottom what each of those is about. So the orange means it's a campground, the blue means it's an RV resort, the blue with the AQ, that means age qualified, that means one person in your group has to be 55 or older. And then the green with the dollar sign means that it's $20 a night in addition to the $214 per year. One important thing to know is with the trails collection, you can stay in that park for 14 days, but then you have to be out for seven. You can't just go from one trails collection park to another. You have to be out of the system for seven days. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in adding about a hundred more parks that you're able to go to. So if you decide you want to buy the camping pass, you just click here where it says get started. You put in your email address. This is ours if you ever want to get in contact with us. And then you click buy now. There once again you can see the five different zones as well as the campgrounds that are in the trails collection. So here I'm going to select the northwest zone and I'll show you $585 here. Right now there's a discount for $86. Then I'm going to add the Southwest Zone for another $54. So you see right there, it adds it up. And then if I add the Trails Collection, with the discount they have for the spring, it comes to $767. And then you can choose to either pay it all now or pay it out with a commitment for two years. If you want to learn more about the campsites, you can go here to Explore Campgrounds. The way that you would do that is you would choose what kind of camping site. For us, RV sites are what's most important. I'm just going to leave it on Alabama. Here you can pick a region. Our choices are North Alabama or all regions for this one. Then you can go over here to amenities. I'm just going to click some. Wi-Fi is always important, right? Um, and for us, we would have to have pets. Welcome. So let's search campgrounds. So here's the one that they have that meets those requirements. I'm going to explore and reserve. Here it will give me all the information about that campground. Just a nice little summary here. A map of where it is here at the bottom. Then right here I can see all of the amenities. I can click through here to see the photos. Click here for larger photos of that park just to get an idea of what it's like. Looks pretty nice. Over here you can see all the different tabs related to this particular park. One really important one is the policies. You can see times for check-in, for check-out. At most of the parks, they're gonna tell you that they're gonna check for ID, insurance, registration. They don't always, but be sure to have that with you, as well as your membership card. Then for example, right here, it shows what you need to do if you're gonna be coming in late. So that just tells you about this park. If you know the campground name, you can search here, or if you want to search a specific zone, you can click here. My favorite way to search for the parks is with the map search. 
So you just click right there. It shows you all the different ones in a map format. Let's say I wanted to go to Texas, which is where we're from. I just zoom in right there and then I could see the different campgrounds that there are in Texas. The blue ones are Encore properties, the green ones are Thousand Trails. With the Encore, you would get a 10 to 20% off discount. Thousand Trails and Encore, I believe, are owned by the same company. If I want to go to like Texoma, one that we've been to before, which is Bridgeport, Bay Landing in Bridgeport, then you would see the same information that we had before. A nice little overview. Then if I decided I wanted to go with that one, it would be book reservation. Then you put all your information in here. You choose what kind of campsite, you put your payment information. For those of us who have the membership or the camping pass, the payment information is just, it says zero dollars. Here you can click on the online directory and it just gives you a quick overview of each state and all of the ones that there are in this state. It does include both the Thousand Trails and Encore properties in that list, so make sure that you know it's ones that you're able to go to. So that's what you can learn from their website. Lots of good information there. So I hope this helps you out. If you have any other questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer that. Also, if you're a Thousand Trails member and have anything else to add, we'd love to hear from you in the comments as well. I hope you'll check out some of our other videos right over there. As a matter of fact, click right up here to find out how to get a Thousand Trails membership so much cheaper. Don't forget to hit subscribe and join the Younger Gang so you can be a part of this awesome community. So taking a huge risk and it thankfully paying off with Thousand Trails is just another way we're living younger every day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.